Hello, how's it going? This is Dylan from Manoa Chocolate, and today we're on our farm. This is Kamananui Estate, very near Haleiwa on the north shore of Oahu, and we've just started planting the first of about, well, this is a 55 acre parcel, and we're gonna plant about 25 acres of cacao, or about eight hectares. And this is the first, I'd say, about 50 trees, 60 trees in cages, and we also have the first three acres where we've got wind blocks planted. And one of the main issues we will have in Hawaii is wind. Everything else, we don't really have any other disease pressures and wind will end up shredding the new leaves and they won't be able to photosynthesize in the same way. So we're very careful about wind. Now all these cages that you see behind me, we've planted the cacao in there, they're growing out of it, but the cages help against something called rose beetles. They're Japanese rose beetles where they'll go and they'll eat the leaves, lots of little holes in them, and it'll really stunt or kill the young cacao trees. And so that's what all the cages are for. It also forces them to go, grow straight up and then end up jorketting, where you'll have the, the branching out to form the future canopy of the tree at a certain height, which we might, um, which is near the top of that cage. So this is the first three acres we just cleared two more to start to prep we've got a, a greenhouse or a, a hoop house where we're germinating a lot of the the next seeds we've got our spacing at about eight feet per tree and 10 feet between rows and the reason we did that is so that we could still drive between rows with some type of farm vehicle and make sure that we could automate as much as we uh, as much as we can now there's also um, inner rows I believe we have cedro or um, Spanish cedar in the middle and that's also to help with wind and it's also to help with casting shade. And then there's two different rows of wind blocks. So we've got a row on the perimeter of neem as well as a row just internally of that of Panix hedge. So we're really over engineering wind blocks here but it's better to have too much than too little in our case. And so what's going on now is we are planting rootstock from vigorous cacao trees where we will then graft onto later. And then we'll be able to select exactly what we want and plant in blocks. Whereas right now we've planted a lot of seedlings that we have cross um, pollinated or, or um, yeah, cross pollinated and put tubes on. So we hand pollinated it, put a tube on so we know exactly what that is. And so that's what this first 60 or so trees are. And it's just really exciting because it's the beginning of what I think is the future of making really, really good chocolate.